Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mr. Boyden, and today I'm going to show you how to write cleanly and legibly on your computer screen. A few years ago, when I first started making instructional videos for my math students, I started out by trying to write on the touchscreen of my laptop, and the quality wasn't very good. So I bought a stylus and tried to improve, but that didn't do much either. Um, those are going to be supplementary. Finally, one day one of my students came up to me after class and said, you know, Mr. Boyden, I really appreciate what you're trying to do with these videos, but the quality kind of stinks. Maybe you should buy a writing tablet or something like that. And he showed me his. I ended up buying this XP pen, and I've been using it ever since. So today I want to show you how to use it to improve the quality of your writing on screen. Before we can write on the screen, we need to make sure we're using a piece of software that allows it. There's lots out there that do this, from Smart Notebook, whether it's PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, it could be Teams. There's lots of different pieces of software out there that allow you to write on them. So first we have to choose one of those. The XP Pen and most of these tablets are plug-and-play technology, and all that means is you don't need to download any special software or pop in a CD to get them to work. Um, all you need to do is plug them in and they're ready to go, just like a mouse or a keyboard would be. So I'm gonna get this one plugged in. Now that I'm plugged in, I wait about five seconds and it's ready to use. For this demonstration today, I'm gonna use Microsoft OneNote because it's what I've been using for the last couple of years and what I'm most comfortable with. So here it is. Okay, so in here, now that I have this writing pad, I can write messages, or in my case, a lot of times I'm doing math. So I might say like 2x plus five equals seven. And that may not seem like a big achievement, but compared to what we saw earlier from my first attempts a few years ago, when I was trying to make these videos, it's a huge improvement. It's enough that the kids will stay focused and they'll stay engaged and they're not thinking, ew, that's really nasty. The other thing that I really like about this is that I can bring in articles or in myself with math I can pull in a question and I can do all kinds of highlighting and annotating and drawing in a way that my students can actually understand. So for this question um, I noticed that actually they already highlighted the word column right here so I'm going to highlight that too or they italicized it must be important I can kind of call that out for my students and show them. And maybe I say I'm going to get the key information 23 were incumbents I want to remember that. Okay, so that's something that I can show them. I think that works for any content area. It also allows you to draw, and while I'm not artistically inclined, I know a lot of you out there can draw really well and produce really good visuals to go along with the things that you're teaching your students. So using a tablet like this can be a really useful way to go from kind of chicken scratch handwriting to some really cool looking stuff that keeps your students engaged and allows them to learn more. Thanks for watching this video. If you got value out of it, please make sure to hit the like button below. Also, what did I get right? What did I get wrong? And what do you want to see me talk about next? Make sure to leave a comment below because I'm not an expert, I'm just a teacher who's trying to help.